Um, let's see, I found out May 16th. So it's it's been a roller coaster of a ride from <laughs> from there till now. I had issues, you know, on and off for a while, and I had had um, lumps on my other breast, and we had them aspirated. So when I felt this one, I just assumed it's the same thing. It felt the same and everything. So I waited a couple months and. Um, I finally, it was due for my mammogram, so I went and had my mammogram, and uh, they called me. I, I, they called me and said, we need you to come back in. Saw something a little suspicious. We just want to do a magnification mammogram. So I went in and had that done. Came back, everything was normal. They felt the lump. I mean, even the, the woman that was doing the mammogram, she felt the lump. You could see the lump. And they sent me back and said, you know, everything was fine. I got, you know, the call from my doctor and they said everything was fine. So I assumed, oh, okay, well, this is just like what I had before because it felt the same. So I waited five, five months after that. So um, that's when I decided to go in to see my surgeon and that's when it all started. So kind of kicked myself for not pursuing it when I felt I should have known better, but I assumed. When I first went to the surgeon, uh, he was about 90% positive that I had cancer. And it came back that it was, it was positive that I did have breast cancer. My mom was with me and my husband was with me, and um, he kind of went over the options pretty quick as far as what he felt needed to be done. Um, he right off the bat said, you know, you need to get a vasectomy. Uh, it, the lump was too big to have, um, to get a lumpectomy. So um, I pretty much decided right then and there that that was what I needed to do because my husband, when we walked out of the office, he said, I want it gone. He said, get rid of it. You know, just take it off. It was pretty much, it was the best thing to do for, for me. He said, it's not going to make you any different. I'm going to love you regardless. He said, that, he says, that's not what makes you who you are. And even my kids were like, but my son, I mean, he's, he's great. He's like, mom, you're still going to be a woman. So you don't have one breast. Big deal. You know, it's, you're, it's that, that, that's not what makes a woman mom. And to hear my son say that is just awesome. You have to fight it. You know, you have to you have to fight it and be brave for your kids and let them know that it's going to be okay. That I'm not going anywhere. I'm not planning on going anywhere. So it's it'll it's it'll all work out. The surgery itself, I, when I had my mastectomy, it, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I can honestly say, I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as I anticipated. Um, and you'll get through it. I went to the office about. A day or two before my surgery, and because um, my surgeon told me I need, need to go in and get a cami, so I went in and I didn't have an appointment or anything. And they're like, "Oh, well, let's see what we've got." And I had no appointment, but uh, Wendy brought me back in the room, and she sat and talked to me and showed me some of the the options um, that I could that I had, you know, afterwards. And um, it just it just made it easy talking to somebody that had dealt with women who um, have gone through what I was about ready to go through and it just it helped it was it, it, it did help thinking wow you know what I've got this really neat thing that I'm gonna be doing after after you know I heal up and everything and, and uh, it was it was exciting so I had something to look forward to you got to be a fighter you know what I've got cancer it don't have me I'm, I'm gonna kick it